we live? I don't see myself. I like to see myself, Danny. All right. Show me the money, baby. There we go. Hey, guys. So we're back. It's been a few weeks. I'm very excited to be uh, doing Viral Marketing Live, making phone calls for you guys. I'm Scott Solari. Good to see you again. And um, I'm excited today to uh, be making phone calls to a great client of mine. His name's Tom Dahlman. He's a beautiful, strong, sensational man. And, uh, yeah, he's going to um, – He's going to love this, and I'm going to hopefully get him some, uh, maybe a listing, a listing biz, or, or maybe some buyers. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to make some calls to his list, kind of show him how it's done, and hopefully his team uh, can uh, tune in or, or watch this later. But uh, as you can see next to me, I have a board where I'm going to keep track of what I do. It's so simple. Oh, it's so simple yet so difficult sometimes for people to just pick up the phone and dial. But look. Dials, contacts, leads. Now, a lead we're going to uh, identify as anyone that's willing to jump on another call to talk to a realtor. Okay, um, so that's how I have to identify because I can't have that conversation. But yes, dials, contacts, leads. All right. So, um, always be closing ABC behind me. You can see that. Okay. Uh, Danny, are you moving camera angles? Say hi, Danny. Danny, say hi. Uh, Danny's in the background. He's my producer. He's been slaving away trying to figure this out for weeks, and we finally got it done. So, boom. All right. Let's make a call. We're going to call Jim. And this list I printed is really hard for me to see. So, all right. What's the name of his business? The 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 Dalman team, Dalman Group. Danny, why don't you look that up for me? Make sure I'm saying the right business name. Looks like we're not getting an answer here, so we're gonna have to move on. All right. Core Group Realty. All right, no answer there. Next. I'm not leaving messages, guys, just because um, his team should be calling this list back. I would suggest calling this list. Oh, by the way, if you haven't watched this before, this list that I have here um, is called an open and click report. So all it is is a CSV of all of the people in – Tom's database that opened the video email that Viral Marketing sent out for him. So every two weeks we send out a video email, you know, a short two to three minute video that Tom does just answering a common question or talking about something of value. And then we track the analytics. So this is the report we send back to him for the lead follow-up. So as you can see, um, we basically identify all the clicks because those are the ones that you want to call. So the ones I'm calling right now are the people that clicked on the home search link. So in every video email we send out, there's a, a JPEG that you can click on to watch the video. There's a little text, and then there's two call to action buttons. One, home search, the other home value. I'm calling the home searches. It looks like he has almost 15 people that click the home search. So those are, Probably good people to call. Maybe interested in, you know, um, searching for a new home, right? 
So that's who I'm calling right now. All right, next call. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Two zero eight four six seven six nine two five is not available. All right, not leaving a message. We're gonna keep down until everyone is smiling. Dan, are you monitoring the pages? Is it, we got. Uh, I want to know if anyone's making comments, questions, please. Comments and questions at any time while we're doing this. I love the interaction and engagement with anyone on Facebook, especially in the Lead Gen and Scripts group. I'm uh, honored to be able to go live for you guys and uh, help you in any way you can making dials. Okay, that didn't work. 208. Um, I'm gonna try that again. All right, that might be a bad number. God, I like this big magic marker, Danny. It's nice. <laughs> Let's keep down. I don't butcher this name, Danny. Shireen. Does that sound right? S H E R E E N. Please leave your message for two zero eight nine zero. Goose egg so far. Let's keep it going. Uh, Sean McGuire just asked, what percentage of calls do you find are voicemails? Wow. I have no clue, Sean. Um, I would say pro probably uh, you're going to run into... 70% voicemails, maybe 50%, maybe maybe 70%. I don't know. I mean, you're going to run into a lot. That's why you got to keep dialing. Um, I know that didn't really answer your question, buddy. I, I apologize. I don't have a straight answer for you. I'm sure we can do some research. Um, but it really, a lot of that is, I would say, depends on the, the quality of the list that I'm calling. And if this is like someone's legitimate database, of people that they know, like, and trust that they've actually connected with and had a conversation with, my contact rates can be much higher than if it's a list of just really random, you know, leads that have been bought or people have opted in on a website that they've never spoken with. So that type of list, you're going to have a much lower um, contact rate than a list of, you know, that has been communicated consistently with, right? Um, so that'd be my answer. I think it's all over the place. I don't think, you know, I think you probably can find numbers specific to uh, people that opt into a lead portal. And like, you can probably find analytics 
for just following up with those leads in your contact rate. And I know that like you should be calling those people at least 15 times um, within the first three weeks to get a hold of them, if not more. But when it comes to an entire database, that's like a smorgasbord of like past clients, you know, cold leads, you know, semi-warm leads, you know, everyone that's been in your LinkedIn or Facebook, like it's all over the place. So it just, it's hard to have a, put a number on that. So hopefully that uh, answers your question. Before I get to the next question, I'm going to make another dial. All right. So let's pull this up. And... ringing here. I gotta keep quit bending down, Danny. Keep showing my people people my bald head. God, we're goosing it right now. Tom, your list sucks. Just kidding, Tom. I love you. Hello, you've reached Susie Ropolato. Please leave me a message, and I'll give you a call back. Thank you. Hey, at least that was an accurate phone number. All right, bring up that other question. Uh, Eva asks, what's up, Eva? Thanks for uh, jumping on. What's the perfect time to call people? Because I do phone calls. I feel like no one wants to talk on the phone anymore. Wow. There's a lot of um, limiting beliefs in, in that statement, Eva. Um, I think people want to talk on the phone. They just want to have valuable conversations, and they don't know necessarily if they're going to have that with you because they probably don't know necessarily who you are. Um, so to you know, for me to you know, when I break down that barrier of um, I really try to set the expectation of the phone call within the first like five seconds and why I'm calling at the beginning. And, um, but to answer your actual question about best time of day, the statistics show that it's like either in, um, like seven to nine o'clock in the morning or, um, like five to seven in the afternoon. Uh, cause you're catching them like either on their commute or like before they actually get into the throes of their day. Um, or you're catching them right at the end of their day or at the end of work. So right now I'm making phone calls. It's 2.30 2 in the afternoon, I think, in Boise. That's where I'm calling. So I don't know if this is the best time or not. Um, it's yet to be seen. I may push back later when I call West Coast. Uh, when I call the East Coast, this ends up being a pretty good time from uh, 5 to 6 o'clock in the evening. So, um, you know, I, I – I would split up your call times uh, if you can, but sometimes it's difficult and you just got to call in the morning, you know. But people do want to talk, uh, Eva. People do want to talk. You just have to uh, be willing to be flexible or call them back or, or nail them down to having a conversation with you at a later time if the time isn't good at that moment. All right, let's make another dial. Eva, you're welcome. We're on this. Here to help, but don't overthink the phone calls. Just pick up the phone and start dialing. Ah, Pasquale, you're watching. That's my boy right there. I had a great call, Pasquale Scopoletti. If you are a uh, recruiter and you need help recruiting, Hi, he is the, the man right now, but if you to help message, you, I will give you achieve a call right all of your personal business Thanks goals. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Oh, got to hang up there. Almost left a voicemail by accident. Okay. Anyway, I was saying Pasquale's the man. If you uh, need coaching for uh, 
Um, if you're a recruiter, really, if you're any human on earth and you actually need some personal <laughs> development and coaching, Pasquale could help you because he'll hold you accountable to doing all the things that really deep down in your soul you don't want to do. So connect with him. Um, if you actually, if you're interested, hit me up and I'll connect you with Pasquale. He's the man. Thanks for, thanks for watching, buddy. But, uh, yeah, don't overthink phone calls. Like, sure. There's better times of day or not. Right. But like, just, just pick up a phone and call and, and, and track your numbers. See how we're doing this here. Track your dials and your numbers. I think, um, I think I've, how many, God, I've only made six calls. I keep talking to you guys. All right. Let's do another here. Track your numbers, have goals. We talked about this earlier. Have goals on dials, contacts, and leads that um, you want to achieve every day, every week. And honestly, if it takes you eight hours to hit those numbers, then it takes you eight hours and you're calling for eight hours, Eva. You're not calling for just two or one. Okay, now if you hit those numbers in three hours, then you only have to call three that. But if you didn't hit those numbers the day before you, you know, uh, today, then you have to make up the difference. So you have to have daily, weekly, monthly, yearly goals. All right. As a good friend of mine would say, you should be putting five nurtures into your database every single day. And what he considers or classifies as a nurture is basically someone that would be willing to have a conversation about working with you when the time comes. And that's usually within a year or it could be two years, um, but you should be putting five of those a day that want to hear from you and you that want to be touched from you uh, with content uh, until that time. You should put five of those a day into your database. If you do that, you're going to be massively successful, massively. All right, let's, let's make this call. Danny, Danny, my boy, Danny, my boy. Hello. Julie? Yes. My name is Scott Solari, and I'm calling uh, on behalf of Core Group Realty. Um, really quick, just to let you know, I am uh, recording this and monitoring this call for training purposes. Okay. The reason for the call is um, I see that you subscribe to uh, Tom Dahlman's video blog. He's been sending out some videos, like education videos about real estate to keep you informed about what's going on in the community and the local market. And I wanted to call and get your feedback about those videos. Um, I enjoy them. I'm not going to buy a house. I don't think I will. Okay. What do you enjoy but about them? I, um, I think they are informative. I love looking at houses. Nice. What do you, what do you, um, mm -hmm. what do you love about looking at houses? Uh, I don't know. I just, I love doing it. <laughs> I, I, I'm weird. <laughs> That's not weird. Why do you think HGTV does so well? Everyone loves looking at houses and like all these different things, you know, and seeing houses being built. And it's pretty great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And seeing how different people decorate and, you know, do things that they add. I don't know. I just love doing it. Nice. Um, do you have any questions that maybe Tom could answer? on a future video uh no probably if i was a real buyer i would probably have some but i'm okay. not i'm just a looker just a looker um do you mm -hmm. do you own property right now uh yeah we live in a house got it how long have you lived in that house 14 years awesome so hypothetically and, and since you're not a real buyer Okay, I'm going to play the hypothetical no, game. Um, we're, we're, we're not a real buyer. We, um, I love our house. Um, you know, no. Yeah. It, it, we're all too old to move. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you, uh, if you don't mind me asking, um, if you were to move, what would be the reason for you wanting to move at any point in the future? If I would move, 
Yeah, like oh, are are you in, oh, are you in a house where you'd want to maybe downsize or upsize or or maybe a different location no. or No, we downsized when we moved to this house. Ah, okay, got it. Like I say, we're really totally content with it. Cool. So All right. Yep. Well, I have one last uh question for you. Okay. Do you know anybody that you think would benefit from maybe having a conversation with Tom about buying or selling? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Well, that is all the time I have for you. I really appreciate you answering my questions and just having this conversation with me. <laughs> and if you, I'm sorry, I couldn't help you more. <laughs> no, no, you have been, you've been very, very helpful. And I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate you watching uh, Tom's videos and uh, if you do have any suggestions or questions, we're always looking for questions about, you know, to get more video content. So just reply back to one of his emails and, and ask, and maybe we'll be able to answer that for you, okay? Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. So that was a contact. That is not a lead, but um, but yeah, it was a good conversation. At least we know that Tom's doing great with his videos, and he has some fans out there. So who was that? Was that Julie? Did I say Julie? Okay, next one. Uh, Danny, how are we doing on questions? Anything I can answer? Any uh, any any good feedback? Any suggestions? What do you say? Did she dupe me or or was she This is great. Love the conversation with the nice lady. This is <laughs> this is sales porn. <laughs> yes. I'm glad to to do this for you, my friend. Oof, I love it. Gets me fired up. Tom, just so you're watching and everyone's witness. Maybe a little finder's fee. Not a commission. Not a commission because I can't take one of those. But maybe like a consulting fee if I get a, a good lead for you. Mm, come on. Just saying. A little, uh, little, little, little back scratch for uh, old, old Scotty boy here. All right. Let's make another call here. What does that say, uh, Danny? Why don't you read it to me and I'll answer. Oh, just a statement. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. What up? Or right. Dave, tell Elizabeth. Dave, what up? Well, I will tell Elizabeth I say hello. Um, I don't talk to her very often, Dave, but um, will do. Um, I'm looking for uh, Kim. Do I have Kim Mann? Kim Mann? This is her husband, Russ. Nice hey, Russ. Phone. Sorry about that. Um, I'm calling okay. from uh, Core Group Realty. And uh, just so you know, uh -huh. I am uh, recording this for training and uh, I'm monitoring this for uh, training purposes. But um, the reason for the call is I see that Kim, and maybe you do as well, you guys subscribe to um, Tom Dahlman's video blog. Have you been getting his uh, video updates about the community and real estate? No, not that I know of. Okay, maybe uh, could it possibly um, your wife be getting them? Uh, I don't think so, but I'll ask her. Okay, well, yeah, hey, the reason I was calling was just to get feedback about the videos that we've been sending out uh, for Tom. He's trying to make sure that he's you know adding value and educating uh, people that are, you know, in his list, uh, just about the community and real estate in general. So that was the whole reason for the phone call. Um, oh, okay. Okay. No, yeah. I don't, uh, I, I haven't heard anything about it, so I don't think so. Okay. okay. And then I guess the only other question I'd have is, um, while I have you on the phone, are you and your wife, have you guys been considering doing any business in real estate? Um, you know, making a move or selling a property or, no, we're not. No. Okay. Perfect. Um, do you 
do you know anyone that that would be that maybe Tom or his team no, should no, talk to? Not right up hand. No, no, not right up hand. I don't. Okay. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. Thanks for an- answering the call, and have a, a wonderful afternoon. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye now. I didn't catch that dude's name. I should have wrote it down. Oh well. Well, it's on video. Ah. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. So that would have been better to have talked to his wife. I think she was the one that was uh, clicking through the emails. But um, that's okay. All right. Let's do another call. What's our time here, Danny? When do we go live? Okay. So we'll go we'll go to like three ten Pacific. Is that cool guys? Who's watching? We'll go to like three ten. Scopaletti. God, I love saying that name. Oh. It's the best. Okay. Sorry, Jeanette Orton is not available. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or... All right, Danny, I need a power cord in this laptop. We are running low on juice, and uh, we don't want to get cut off. Oh. Ha, <laughs> All right, just so what everyone knows what just happened, the power cord was literally sitting next to the computer... And because I don't use Macs, I'm borderline, I'm going to say retarded. Yep. And it was sitting right there, and and he came over and just plugged it in. (laughs) Thanks, Danny. (laughs) All right. God, I want to get a lead. I don't like this column being empty right here, Danny. Got to get a lead here. All right. No number, no number. Let's call this one. It's funny how no one says anything about the fact that I'm recording and monitoring the call. Isn't it? Isn't it interesting? Danny, I'm talking to you. You're like my you know, you're like my sounding board. Do you find it interesting, Danny, that no one says anything about it or has complaints? It's like a it's like a norm th- this day and age. I'm cool with it. I gotta print these lists bigger next time. I can barely see these numbers and names. <laughs> Sales porn. Your call has been forwarded <laughs> to an automated voice message system. That's hilarious. System. Five zero nine right. eight. I love that you called it sales porn. Isn't that funny? Cracks me up, man. All right. Let's keep on dialing because I ain't smiling yet. Not until I get a lead. This dude's name's George St. George. God, I hope that's his real name. It's awesome. Hello. Uh, George? Yeah. George, my name's Scott Solari. I'm calling with uh, the core group Realty, 
and just so you know, this call is being recorded and monitored for uh, training purposes. Um, the reason for the call was uh, you've been getting some videos from Tom Dahlman uh, just about the uh, the community and what's going on in the real estate. Um, and I was calling to get your feedback about the videos. Uh, I don't know if I've gotten any. I don't recall them anyway. Oh, yeah. it's Well, you're on this list because they've been going to you and we've been, you know, we decided we wanted to reach out to some of the people that receive the content and just make sure that it's valuable. Um, do you, where are you located? Where am I located? Yeah, where's this, where are these realities coming from? Oh, it's uh, in Boise. Is that where you are? No. Oh. No, uh, in fact, uh, we asked to be, be uh, taken off that several months ago. Oh. Did you used to live in Boise? No, well, I used to years ago, but, uh, yeah, we were going to move back there oh, okay. uh, after we retired, but we changed our mind. We're going another direction. Got it. Did you, like, um, happen to, like, log into maybe, like, a, a home sh search site at some point or something back for back there? Well, I don't recall just now. Right now I'm in the middle of a business meeting at lunch. I need to really go. Okay, yep, I'll and I'll uh, make sure that you get – Yeah, take us off that. That'd be great. Yeah, Thank sounds you. good. Thanks, buddy. Bye. All right, George St. George. Let's make a note here. I mean, he clicked on the home search link, so either he's retard. Mm, I'm not going to say that word again. Sorry. Uh, I think maybe he uh, – his mind may not be there completely, or or we have another case of the wife clicking on things instead of George, but looks like George clicked the home search. All right, let's make another call. Uh, I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but, you know, I'm not really that sorry. I don't really care. It is what it is. Get over it. Don't be sensitive. Um, all right. Danny, my boy. Danny, what movie is that from? I keep referencing. Do you know? Huh? Yeah, he says Charlie, though. Charlie, my boy! The person you are trying to reach is not accepting calls at this time. Please try your call. Oh, wait, I forgot to mark my board here. So we, had, so we just had two more. And we had a third contact. All right, so guys, the lesson here, by the way, is that you need to be tracking these numbers. But you have to have a goal, right? So ideally... You know, like like I was talking about earlier, your goal would be five leads. Um, so this doesn't really matter. But what this tracks is for down the road when you go back and you have to scale your business or train someone else to make these calls, you can go, look, based on all the numbers of what we've done, it should take you 100 dials. You're going to talk to 20 people. And of those 20, you get five leads. Now, I just made those numbers up. I don't really know if that's right or not, but whatever, right? So there's – this is just data. Th these don't really matter right now. What matters is trying to get to the goal that you have, right? Um, but this data is good to track so you know when you scale later what people need to be hitting in order for you to keep scaling your business the same way as when you were doing it yourself. Okay. No answer on that one. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay. So we're almost through all of the home search clicks. So all these people, so I'm still on that list, the people that clicked home, the home search link. Lori? Hello? Hello? Uh, Lori? 
speaking. Lori, my name's Scott Solari. I'm calling with uh, Core Group Realty. Um, the reason for the call is you've been receiving some videos from, from Tom Dahlman, and I was actually calling to get feedback. But just so you know, this call is being uh, recorded and monitored for no, training purposes. You. Hello? Ah! Hang up. Now, the real question is, should I call back? Well, because it's not my list, I'm not going to. But if it was my list, I would because I don't really care about making someone upset. And she didn't give me a chance to really um, chat. But for the uh, because I'm calling on behalf of Tom, I'm not going to call back. All right. I think I needed to say the uh, the the recording before that. I shouldn't have said it at the end of the sentence. That kind of messed up there, because that's all she uh, heard then. Oh, you're recording. Blech. What did Caleb say? At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may oh. hang up or press. Caleb, I'm gonna be calling your list soon, buddy. You're on my you're on my dial list. Ha, mm -hmm. <laughs> Brandon. Yeah. Um. This is how you work the viral leads, Caleb. And I'm going to call your list too, buddy. And uh, I don't know what number you are on my list, but we're gonna be, I'm going to start doing this twice a week. So, and maybe at some point I'll be doing it every day. Danny, you got cameras all over the place. We got two cameras, huh? Which, which one to show me right now? The one in front of me? Oh, yeah, there's the other one. Oh, look at you switching camera angles. You producer, you. All right, let's move on. I'm getting excited. Okay. So, this lady's name's Tari. I don't believe this name, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. But you see, you got to have patience when you're making calls, especially when it's too... Um, you know, if you have a huge list, guys, a very – and it's not really a warm list of people. Like, if your database is, like, 30,000 people and every crappy lead that you've ever gotten, you're throwing it in there, you're going to have to be patient because a lot of it's junk, to be honest with you. I mean, that, that is what it is, but – Peter! <laughs> I love seeing team members in the office doing work. So if I, I you've reached your agent. I'm not available. Just leave a right. message and I'll call you. So her real last name was D-E-C. That was interesting. <laughs> Maybe she forgot the K. All right. Um... Fifteen attempts. We got what? Twenty more minutes. All right. Let's see if we can pick this up a little bit here. Danny, questions, feedback, anything? All right. Danny, I cheated last night and ate dairy. 
it wasn't worth it. I don't feel great. I had two Krispy Kremes and like five slices of pizza in like 20 minutes. I like nosedived off a cliff, dude, and just like, <laughs> it was horrible. But it, I mean, it felt good for the moment, at the moment. Hello. Uh, Dan? Yeah. Dan, my name's Scott Solari. I'm calling uh, on behalf of uh, Core Group Realty. Um, Tom Dahlman sends out some videos, and it, and it says here that you subscribe to his video blog. Are you receiving those videos? No, and I have no interest in it. I Somehow he contacted me this summer when I was looking at buying a house. Oh, okay. In July. And, and so, you know, every now and again I'll get a communication from him, but – but uh, I bought a house. I'm not interested any, you know, I never really was, but I'm okay. not interested anymore for sure. So if you can turn that off, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, just so I'm clear, so you, you were purchasing a house or you're considering buying a house and then you did. So you're, so you've already kind of gone through that process with real estate? Yeah, yeah. His, um, I don't know if his office is located in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. No, he's not, in a... But that seemed to be where... He's in Boise. Seems to be where I was getting it from. Yeah, he's in Boise. In Boise? Yeah. Okay, well, I bought a house in Nampa, which is just west of Boise. Oh, ah, okay. And uh, and so somehow my name got sent to him. I lived in Spokane, and I was looking to move down to this area. And I contacted a local realtor down here who had no – I'm sure he has no affiliation with Tom, but yeah, I kept getting – you know, I kept getting contacts, and I just I'm not I'm not interested. I guess is the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sometimes um sometimes different realtors and teams like work together in different locations. So who knows yeah. if that's the case here? But yeah, man, yeah. I'll, I'll mark it down and we'll uh we'll we'll Move pull on. you off the list. Okay, buddy. Great, thanks. Hey, thank you for taking the call. I appreciate it. Yep. All right. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. All right. Yeah, I mean, we're, you know. See, guys, a good lesson here is, um, look, at the end of the day, just treat people as people. They're just human. They just want to be treated just how you want to be treated if you're calling someone, you know. So um, that's it. Yeah, just be a human, you know, and treat people like humans. And you'll be surprised on uh, how that reciprocates in the world, right? Um, okay. Let's make another call here. Wait. So that was Dan. All right, so I circled the two, uh, Danny, that we got to pull off Tom's list. Tell him to stop spamming people. Dang. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. All right. Our contact rate's not bad, though. Was it 17 so far? Five contacts? Danny, you need to use the, uh, what? Ah. Um, the other computer next time. The, your laptop, okay? I don't want to have to bring my laptop in every time. <laughs> You're welcome for the uh, coaching on the live call, baby. Pete, every time you send a message through your thing, it's dinging in my ears. This 
Scott. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is this Scott. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, one second. Okay. Hello. Who is this? Hi, my name is Scott Solari. I'm actually calling with uh, the Cor Core Group Realty. Um, I had your number here. Tom Tom Dahlman sends out some uh, videos every couple of weeks to keep uh, you informed about what's going on in the local market. And just so you know, um, I am recording and monitoring this call for training purposes. Um, okay, well, you don't need to monitor it. Um, I have no reason to deal with any kind of reality, uh, realty groups, sorry, um, or any real estate of any kind at all, rentals, owning, nothing. So can I appreciate I, it, though. Thank you. Can I verify? Because I had a different name. I had Frank uh, Makua. Cool. Ah, it feels good to get calls like that. Danny, ask me why it feels good to get a call like that. Danny, the reason it feels good to get a call like that is because I am one step closer to getting a lead now. Leads. All right. <clears throat> My phone keeps blowing up. I'm getting texts. <laughs> Ken, that's a great that's a great name. Glenn Gary Glenn Long is my sales porn name per uh, Ken Posick. Yes, you didn't think I was going to say it. I just did. Glenn Gary Glenn Long. I like it. I'll take that. We're going to start naming these videos that. Okay. Let's dial another number here. That guy was kind of rude, by the way. Don't treat don't treat people like that. Someone stole your phone number, bro. Please leave your message for 281. All righty. All right. I'm going to keep crushing here. Any uh, any questions? Danny, anything? Nope. Some likes? Ooh. Yeah, give me a like. Someone give me a love. Give me a little love. I can I use I need a little love. Ah, there we go. Ask and you shall receive. Glenn Gary Glenn Long. <laughs> oh, Ken, you cracked me up. Dude. Hello. Uh, Carol? Yes. My name's Scott Solari. Uh, I'm calling from Core Group Realty. Um, I work with uh, Tom Dahlman. He's been sending uh, videos uh, about what's going on in the local real estate market. Uh huh. Uh, just so you know, I am recording this for uh, in, in modern. Where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah. Call, calling from uh, Boise. Oh, well, we're in Texas. Oh, were you considering uh, buying a house no. in Boise at any point? We, we weren't. I talked to him and told him before. Oh, really? Uh, we weren't. We were looking for some other things, and we accidentally got on there somehow, and. He sent me something and, and called, and I talked to him and told him, <laughs> I'm not interested. I mean, there's no way we're leaving where we are. We have our family all here. Yeah, why would but you do that? On, that makes no sense. We're down on the tip of Texas. Yeah, it makes no sense. Why would you leave, te why would you leave when your family's <laughs> yeah. there? <laughs> yeah. And so I told him, I said, I'm sorry, but you can take my name off because we're not – there's no way. And I've seen the – you know. The and videos? I'll just delete them, and so, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Did you ever watch? I'm sorry. Did, no, no, you're, don't <laughs> apologize. Did you ever watch any of them? 
I had. I did actually see some that looked pretty good, but I'm not interested in, no, no. in the north. And so I have a question <laughs> for you. This has nothing to do with selling or buying real estate. I'm going to ask uh-huh. you, do you have any feedback for Tom on how he can improve his skill on the camera? Because I think he probably could be doing better, but I'd like to hear it from you. Uh-huh. Um, you know, it's been a while since I saw him. I just remember it was kind of in the country setting and it looked nice, but I don't remember. I, I don't know enough to even tell you. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, hey, I, the main thing I think would just, I don't know how many people have looked, but you know, I, they never took my name off the list and I did talk to them. So. Well, I'll make sure anyway. I'll make sure your name gets removed. I appreciate <laughs> you answering the phone call and being so kind. Uh-huh. And uh have have a wonderful day, okay? Okay, thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was fun. Was that fun? Fun for everybody? <laughs> everybody had fun. God, I was hoping she was gonna say something about Tom on it <laughs> about on like how he is on video of an awesome. All right. Now, if you're really, you know, if you're trying to move through your calls quickly, you probably could have got off the phone a little faster, but I wanted to engage the nice lady. She did sound like she was from Texas, though. All right. So that's three people we got to pull off, Danny, that I'm going to give to you to, uh, to email Tom. All right. Let's make another call here. How are we doing here? How we doing? Any uh, any feedback? Any questions? Nine five eight nine. Hopefully, um, you guys are getting some value from the approach that I'm taking with the calls. Glenn Long does know how to close this. Hello? Oh. <laughs> Good <day. laughs> That would have been bad timing. All right. Well, my attempts are good. Over 20. Contacts are okay. It's not bad. It's 33% right now. Uh, leads, terrible. Terrible. All right. I mean, am I getting duped, audience, or these people sound pretty honest about not being in the market? But, you know, I'm not as experienced as some of you in making phone calls. <coughs> oh, man. Bummer. Oh, that didn't even dial through, did it? Unable to reach. All right, so that was a bad number. I'm not going to count that. I don't know if you count bad numbers. I'm not counting a bad number as a dial. Okay. Seems like he's got a fair amount of, like, random area codes. So maybe he's getting people... You know, that are looking to move, opting in, too. Hello? Uh, is Alan there? Who's calling? Uh, my name is Scott Solari. I'm actually calling from uh, Core Group uh, Realty. Um, you guys have been receiving some videos uh, from Tom Dahlman. Oh, uh, we're not buying a house. 
Okay. Um, that, that wasn't the reason for the call. And just so you know, I am uh, recording this uh, and monitoring it for training purposes. But the reason for the call was I was calling to see if uh, you had any feedback about the videos uh, that Tom has been sending. Uh, we we're trying to. I, I don't recall having got anything like that. No. Oh, you've never gotten a video email from uh -uh. Um, the core group no. realty? No. Oh. Okay. Well, I had Alan's name here. It said that you guys subscribed to the video blog. I think that maybe it was Core Realty that sold us our home three and a half years ago. I'm oh. not sure. Yeah. Are you guys in Boise or you were in Boise? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that, that could be why you're on the list. Um, if you're a past client, that's certainly why you're on the list. I'm sure they're trying to stay in touch yeah. with you and make sure that they're uh, educating you about what's going on in the mm -hmm. market. Okay. Well, take us off the list please. Okay. Okay. Did you have a, all right. Thanks. Okay. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Still? Hello. Hi. I, I was just going to ask you, um, did you have a bad experience working with the core group? Ma'am. Ma'am. All right. Well, I tried. Past client. There you go. That's not good, huh? They should be thrilled to hear from us. Maybe I'll circle that one for Tom to reach out to. All right. Let's make another call here. God. Leads suck. Need more leads. I was trying to salvage that. You hear that, Danny? Just trying. She didn't seem very thrilled to hear from us, though. I would love from some feedback about how to handle that uh, situation. If any of you guys have run into that before. Announcement one, three, two, one. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The wireless customer you called is not available at this time. Let's try one more time. Announcement one, three, two. All right, not counting that. Skip, skip, skip. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Ha. All right. I'm uh, I'm a little bummed, I'm not going to lie, but I'll only be bummed for like 10 seconds. I really wanted to get a lead for Tom. Let's see if we can. I'm going to make two more calls, guys. Two more. Let's see if we can grab a lead out of these last two. Five. Any other comments, Danny, or questions?
Hi, Robert and Kelly aren't in right now. Please leave a message. Bye. Oh. All right. One more. Let's do this. Oh, this number seems made up. Yep, bad number. All right. Six one nine number. It's a local San Diego number. I'm gonna make one more call. I don't want to end on a uh, dud number. Hi, Mike. Uh, my name is Scott Solari. I am uh, calling on behalf of Core Group Realty out of uh, Boise, Idaho. And just so you know, this call is being recorded and monitored for uh, quality purposes. Um, have you been receiving video emails from uh, Tom Dahlman? Uh, it's not ringing a bell. Who am I speaking to again? My name's Scott. And the reason, the whole reason for the call is I was actually just trying to get feedback about the content and the videos that he's been sending out to educate people about what's going on in real estate um, in the Boise area. Um, I see that you have like a 619 number. So are you at, uh, in San Diego? That's where my cell is. Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, the whole reason um, was... I, have I received a video... Yeah, it just shows from somebody named Scott. No, no, from no. Tom, his name is Tom Dahlman, and it's the name of the real estate company is Core Group Realty, and they're a they're a real estate group in um, in Boise, and they you know they send out I'm calling on behalf of them, but they send out uh, educational videos to keep people informed about what's going on in real estate in the market, gotcha. and then in the community. I just checked my personal email, and I don't I don't have one from Core or from Tom. Oh, okay. Um, let me see here. I'll tell you. Yeah, it looks like they have your Yahoo email address, yahoo.com. I don't know how they got that, but. And I may have received it in the past and deleted it. I'm uh, not okay. sure. Okay. Um, well, the whole reason was to get feedback about it, but if you haven't really seen them, I can't do that. Um, do you have any uh you know, maybe real estate questions that I can bring to them uh, that they could potentially answer on a video. For core group. Yeah. Yeah. What's the real estate market going to be like in the next two to three years? <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'd like to know. That would um, be, uh... Other than that, no, I, I think <laughs> I'm pretty well all set, but I would love to um, hear some expert predictions on the future. <clears throat> I just, uh, you know, not very good at that stuff, and I, I don't really know. People get paid to do that, and they're wrong half of the time. It's either going to go up or it's going to go down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'd just love to know. I would, lo I would love if if Tom knows if what the market's going to do in two to three years. He should be the richest man on earth for knowing that, because I think it's really <laughs> difficult to predict that far ahead on what markets are going to do. But you know, we have been in a really strong market since. You know, 2000, what, 11, 12, you know, where it's been increasing. So I don't know. You know, hopefully it continues this way. But, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll pass that question along. Uh, as far as um, doing any uh, real estate business, are, are you like pretty much settled on where you are? Or are you looking to do something in the market in the next couple of years or even sooner than that? Not right now. I, I thought that I was at one point, but. Not now. What would what would have been the reason if you were, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I'm in Orange County, California, and the notion of living somewhere else where the cost of living is lower, taxes are lower, that's pretty appealing. 
right okay yeah yeah totally i can understand that okay um well i'll i'll pass your uh like i said i'll pass your question along and then um if uh are you still yeah, something comes up i could stay on like the email list or something but um yeah you just know, these are expert predictions and that's what i'm most interested in uh not not so much the basics of real estate shopping Right, just um, kind of know, just kind of knowing yeah. what's going on in that market because that the Boise market kind of yeah. uh, interests you. Okay, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll so let... you know, instead of education on you know the purchase process, more of um, you know industry industry information, industry knowledge. Those are things that I'd be curious about. You got it. All, All right. right. All right. Hey, hey I really, a lot. I really appreciate your time. You too. All right. Bye. All right. Um, well, I don't know if I'd call that a lead, but, uh, that's one to stay in touch with. I mean, it could be a potential buyer, maybe down the road, um, worth, uh, worth maybe connecting with separately or I don't know. I don't know. Keep an eye on, at least putting a note in your CRM about to maybe do a follow up in six months. I mean, clearly uh, the guy's in California and um, understands that his house is probably probably sell, make five hundred grand, and still buy a really nice house in Boise uh, because California is ridiculous. So, um, anyway, guys, that's uh, you know, that's all I got for calls, but. You know, I think the big thing is, uh, you know, having those numbers every day, knowing what what number you need to hit here, what you're considering a lead. You know, how do you qualify a lead? Um, that's really up to you. But I would say that, you know, someone that's willing to make a decision and potentially willing to give you the business if they are uh, within the next year would be, I'd qualify that. doesn't need to be right this second. Um how many dials and contacts does it take to get to that number, right? Sadly, we didn't get any of these, I would say, but overall productive. Got some feedback. Got a few names to, for Tom to get off his uh, list. And, um, yeah, if you uh, if you want to learn more about how we can help you get a list like this, obviously you can always reach out to me directly, Scott, at Get Viral, and that's viral with a Y, G-E-T-V-Y-R-A-L.com. But um, I'm going to be doing this continuously now moving forward every week. And uh, on Tuesdays, uh, we had some hiccups with um, our production team, Danny. <laughs> but uh, we got it all figured out now. So you're going to you're gonna be blessed with my phone calls. Uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Long. Thanks, Ken Posick. Thank you all for watching. Give me your attention. Please, any feedback, questions, comments, um, always willing to learn, adapt, and do better for you. And I want to help you get over the hurdles of uh, making phone calls and um, having great conversations with people so that you can help them buy and sell real estate. Okay, so I'll catch you next time. Thanks. <laughs>